Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. How are you all today? Today I'm going to do our weekly tarot for the whole world. So today again I have the lovely cards here by Louise Benton. I'm going to pull them out and as you, I did last week I'll just put her sign up here. So if anyone wants to go to the lovely Louise's website here it is so you can go over and check out all the lovely lovely things that she has for sale. Okay so obviously that's not one of her cards so I'm going to put that aside and here are her tarot cards. So <clears throat> they're quite large these ones and I'm going to do an extra bonus today too because I've got the big card deck and I've also got my little card deck. Look at the size and the difference okay. Big cards and little cards. So today I'm going to pull a card from both. Um, I'll just explain. These all have one word on the back. The last one last week was the word heal. So it has a little poem that Louise has written. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're all different words. I actually haven't looked at these cards. Only to connect with them. Okay. So I will be doing a video on how to connect with your card. Yay. So we all can use tarot if we want to. Okay. So I've got those ones. And these ones here were given to me a few years ago. And these are all love cards. So on the front... Now, there's quite a few of these. I don't want to lose any. On the front, we have a lovely little dove with his little wings happening. So these are tiny little cards, and they all have one word. They all start with love. Love is something, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a card from Louise's deck, and then I'm going to pull one of these, and I'll tell you the difference between the two. Obviously, I'll read out Louise's card first, and then I'll do the other, and then I'll see the relevance between the two cards. So today, the intention is tarot for the upcoming week. So today is the 21st of November. So this is going to take us through until the 28th of November. So from the 21st of November, so I'm now putting in this intention to the cards of which card I want. So I'm looking for a global card that represents what the world needs right now. Humanity. What does humanity need to hear right now? What does humanity for the next week, what is something that we can work on? What is it something that we already represent within ourselves? So you think, oh, you already do that. Good. Okay, because it's showing that you're on the right path. But if you get a card and it's like, whoa, I don't do that, then it's something for that we can work on, correct? So the first thing I'm going to do, I've already just connected with the two lots of cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle as I do until a card falls out. So I just shuffle my cards with the intention. What do I want the cards to show me? It's a card that represents something that the world or humanity needs for the coming week. Okay? And I just wait until it throws me a card out. Okay? So we just shuffle them through until they throw me out a card. And it could be any card because I don't force this. I don't have any trickery here where I pull cards before the show I always do it live on air whenever I do these okay guys all right so I just want one card from the universe oh I got my card yes and it is one card oh oh isn't that an exciting card okay <clears throat> so I've got that card see what it looks like now, the first thing I want to show you is the picture. Only two nights ago, we had a full lunar eclipse here in Brisbane. The whole moon shone red for about two hours. Wow, look at that. How important. Now, as you saw, look how many cards are in this deck. Interesting. So now, I'm going to pull out a card out of these little guys, okay? So again, I'm going to call out to the universe my intention. Throw me just one card that the world needs. I'm just going to hold them up so you can see one card flick out when it does, okay? One card for the next week that the... Did you see that? How it flicked out? And it is one card and here it is and I'll put the others away so you know I'm not um, tampering with these at all, okay? So here's my one card. 
<clears throat> and I'm just going to put it here. So you know I haven't done any force of play or sleight of hand trickery here. So there's my card, okay? So this card, first of all, from Louise's pack, is called the Illumination card. I'll put it there in case you do want to pause the screen and read it through. Illumination card. So what does this one tell us? Our very existence and all that surrounds us is miraculous. There is wonderment and magic in all things and the world is so much more than it appears to be. <clears throat> At our essence is a spirit that connects us to the vastness of all that is, the eternal witness to all that arises and all that passes away. Love and reverence of our own existence and the existence of all life will awaken us to the blessings of this experience as embodied humans and the opportunity it offers us to hone the skills and manifest of manifestation and creation. The more authentic, authentic, start again, Linda. The more authentically and truthfully we choose to live, authentically, authenticity, more authentic. Okay, the more authentic. And truthfully, we choose to live, the more aligned we will become with the universal forces of creation. This alignment will then enable us to see through the veils of deception that have prevented us from expressing our divine potential. Wow. By reclaiming our sovereignty, we can embrace the truth of what we are and begin creating a future based on our dreams and desires for a better world. Wow. You know, the truth is coming out now, guys. For the past year and a half, well, I'm just going to say two years now we've been in this um, pandemic. The truth is now coming out of who really started this. What are the real reasons and the intentions of those who did this? The lies are now breaking away and people are waking up. That veil is starting to crack. So people are seeing the reality of what really is occurring on this planet. How amazing is it to get the illumination card? And I'll put it there again in case you want to pause the screen and read it. I'll bring it in a little bit closer. Because there's so much relevance in this card for us for the next week because this oh I've just lost my card it just went down into my chest a little bit okay there he is he's still there remember we're going to talk about this little guy in a minute okay let's see what the love card says after this one all right so first of all let's break down some of the words in here there is wonderment and magic in all things now that reminds me of the law of attraction what we think we can create if we want better things for ourselves, better things for those around us, and we put that energy into creating that magic, these things can occur. He doesn't want to stay there, does he? I might just stick him here in my hair. How's that? Hair, wear him like a little hair ribbon. I don't care what I look like, guys, okay? I'm just going to put him here in my hair. He doesn't want to even stay in my hair. Here you go. Look, I'll stick him down here in my glasses, okay? There he is. He's in my hair now, okay? All right, let's keep going with this card. And our essence is a spirit that connects us to the vastness of, vastness of all that is. Now, to me, that makes sense because I died in 2001. I saw the enormity and that vastness of the universe when I went to heaven. I saw how everything is connected and what I think was created by others through that connectivity. So <clears throat> realizing that everything that we have right now is absolute butt kiss in the reality of the universe. You know, we don't have to hang on to material items. We don't have to have the best dress. We don't have to have our nails done. We don't have to have our hair dyed. Because at the end of the day, this is just a three-dimensional world 
where we're trying to appease ourselves or others. For when we go home, as soon as we think, geez, I'd love to have long hair today, our hair can be as long as we want it to be. If we desire to wear the best shoes, all we have to do is visualize them in our brain and instantly we are wearing them. We don't have to work to gain money to buy these things, okay? Which is actually what's written here. The blessings of this experience as embodied humans and the opportunity affords us to hone the skills of manifestation and creation. Straight from there, this is up actually in here, okay? <clears throat> the more authentic we are, and the more truthful we are, the more karma will look down on us and be grateful. Wow. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is sore today because I was talking all day yesterday. Okay, so I do have a little bit of a sore throat today. By reclaiming our sovereignty. Now tell me anywhere on the planet right now where we haven't got mandates, where we haven't been told what to do. So this card of illumination is actually saying stand up and fight against the immorality of what is occurring here. Wow. By reclaiming our sovereignty, we can embrace the truth of what we are and begin creating a future based on our dreams. That's all the law of attraction again, manifestation and the desires for a better world. So what this card is actually saying, guys, in a nutshell, this coming week is an opportunity because everything's our opportunity. So I'm just going to hold that there so you know we're going to have a look at this card next. Everything in our lives is an opportunity. Everything that we are presented with, with it's either a lesson to learn from, it's a lesson to teach someone else about, or it's an opportunity of reward for what we've already done in our lessons. So guys, please be mindful this week of all the intentions that you put out. Think solely of what you want when our re worlds return to what is normal. Now, let's go to this card here. Love knows there is always enough love to go around. Love knows. So when I went home in, to heaven in 2001, love was the only emotion that was there. It was unconditional acceptance. Unconditional. That there was no one being offended. No one had blame. No one was guilty. No one was embarrassed. Oh, geez, I might wear my favorite red shoes today with my Led Zeppelin t-shirt. You can do whatever you like and nobody else cares in respect that they allow you to do what you want because of free will. So love knows there is always enough love to go around. So this is reminding us, guys, in a world of hatred, in a world of being offended, judging and accusing others, there is enough love that we can manifest and illuminate that light of love for everybody else on the planet. So these two cards, what they both represent is that if we do have within us the opportunity where we can spread this love, we can spread the high vibrations and we can spread and attach to others that higher frequency that comes when we are above the lower vibrational levels, <clears throat> the world is going to be a far better illuminated place of love. Hope you like this card today, guys. If you do want to comment your own interpretations of the two cards, I will just put them up again in case you do want to pause the screen and read them again. Okay? Because when we look at the connectivity between one to the other, and what does it mean with the other words? This is saying there is enough love. So if we illuminate it and spread it out there, it's going to be infectious and contagious 
to everybody else on the planet. So guys, think about your love. Think about what you want to do and create for others that you don't even know on the other side of the planet to you. Imagine what life is like for people in other countries and just wish them light and love. Give them peace to finally realize the truth of what is really going on. So until next week, guys, hope you've liked that card. If you do want to put your own interpretation on the bottom, please comment below. <clears throat> if you like the two cards today, please let me know. Or whether you just want the one card or three cards, because I've got about 16 tax packs of tarot cards here. So let me know how many cards you want me to do. And we'll take it from there, because t these tarot readings are all about you and how we can better the world. See you next week, guys. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.